Hello, welcome to the video Download and Install Tomcat 10 on macOS with me Nam Ha Ming at Code Java Net. In this video, I'd like to share with you the steps to download and install and run Apache Tomcat Server version 10 on Mac operating system. In details, I'm going to show you how to download the binary distribution of Tomcat 10 and install Tomcat 10 on macOS and then how to run the server and how to add a user to access the Tomcat web application manager and how to stop the server. You know, Tomcat is the popular Java web server developed by the Apache Software Foundation and developers use Tomcat to run web applications built on Java EE platform or Java Enterprise. It's free and open source software and Tomcat version 10.1 requires Java 11 or later and version 10.1.x supports the following Java EE technologies Servlet 6.0, JSP 3.1, EL 5.0, WebSocket 2.1 and Authentication JustPick 3.0 Note that you must have Java Development Kit or JDK installed on your Mac OS in order to run Apache Tomcat server. If not, I recommend you check the video Download and Install Oracle JDK 20 on Mac OS on my YouTube channel as this URL to download and install JDK first before following this video. Now let's head over to the official home page of Apache Tomcat software at the URL tomcat.apache.org You see this is the official home page of the Apache Tomcat software and to download Tomcat version 10 click Tomcat 10 on the left menu here You see the latest version of Tomcat 10 is 10.1.15 you see, and uh, for macOS, we can download the zip archive file or tar.gg and I'm going to download the zip uh, binary distribution of Tomcat 10 version 10.1.15 and note that you must verify the integrity of the downloaded files uh, by checking the share file one to checksum share file one to checksum you can see the link share 512 here okay so i click the zip link here to download the binary distribution of apache tomcat 10 i download it uh, to my download directory under my user home okay and right click here to get the share 512 checksum of the file okay download completed and you can see Tomcat version 10 here Apache Tomcat 10.1.15 and to verify the integrity of the downloaded file open a new terminal window and change the current directory to download directory and you can see the zip archive file for Apache Tomcat 10.1.15 here and to get the SHA File on to check sham if this command sha sham dash a five one two and then your zip archive file name and you see it prints the sha five one two check sham value of the file and we need to compare this value against the one uh, published on the website here. Let me check. Okay, both are identical. That means the download file is safe to use. And to install Apache Tomcat 10 on macOS, just extract the downloaded archive zip file into a specific directory on the computer. Now I want to extract this zip archive file to my user home. Uh, directory so I use this command tar-sf 
and then your file name and then dash she and then my user home directory and now I go to my user home and you can see a new directory appears here Apache Tomcat 10.1.15 okay let me go to that directory and you can see the directories and files of the distribution of Apache Tomcat uh, 10.1.15 here and uh, you can see the content of the bin directory that contains the uh, scripts which we can use to start uh, stop the server you see uh, catalina.sh is a main shell script and startup.sh and shutdown.sh Edge as a shortcut uh, to start and stop the server and you see the conf directory that contains configuration files and uh, in the next uh, few minutes I'll show you how to edit the file Tomcat users.xml here to uh, configure access to the Tomcat uh, web application manager and the lib uh, directory contains uh, the binary files of the server you see many jar files and the web apps directory is where you put your java applications here deploy your java application and the web apps directory and the logs directory uh, contain will contain the log files uh, when the server is running and now uh, uh, let me start Apache Tomcat server so we can use this uh, command I go to the bin directory and use the shell script file catalina.sh here so run it using this command sh catalina.sh and you can see it prints the uses the commands of the catalina shell script you see the option to start to stop and see the version of Tomcat ok now let me start the server start and you see Tomcat started it uh, runs Apache Tomcat server in a separate thread and you can see the version of JDK the class path of the server ok now we can verify by uh, going to localhost in the web browser here port number 8080 because by default uh, Tomcat server listens on port 8080 so this is uh, the um, home base of Apache Tomcat server 10.1.15 that means I have successfully um, installed uh, Apache Tomcat on Mac OS and the server is up and running and to stop the server type the command sh catalina sh and pass the option stop you see the server stopped if I refresh there I got an error you see and you can also use uh, this command to start the server dot forward slash and catalina dot sh start you see if you see this error permission denied that means you don't have execute permission of the catalina dot sh file so you need to give permission to the file you can see um, the permission of the file owner just read and write so of the catalina.sh file you see so type this command uh, to add permission ch mod u plus x catalina.sh ok you can see it uh, updated the permission here now we can type this uh, command to start the server 
You see, Tom Cox started. You see. And let me stop the server. Stop. You see. And alternatively, you can use the shortcut uh, startup and shutdown scripts as you can see uh, startup startup.sh and shutdown.sh here uh, for example sh startup.sh you see uh, term card started and sh shutdown.sh to stop the server so stopped and you can you also use this uh, shortcut uh, dot forward slash startup.sh if you see this error you need to give permission to the shell script file ch mode u plus x startup.sh and ch mode u plus x shutdown.sh and now I can start the server you see Tomcat started and shut down the server okay you see Now let me show you how to configure Tomcat users in order to access the Tomcat Web Application Manager. Let me start the server. Okay. And here you can see the buttons Server Status, Manager App, Host Manager. If I click Manager App here, I must provide a username and password, but I have not configured any user yet, so click Cancel and you see the uh, for one unauthorized error in the instruction uh, to fix this error by adding a new user uh, with the role manager dash GUI here in the Tomcat user XML file under the configuration directory conf so let me update now I stop the server first shut down Okay, and go to the conf directory, and you can see the Tomcat user.xml file here. And let me open edit this file using a text edit uh, in macOS. Open dash a text edit, and then the file name Tomcat user.xml. Okay, this is the uh, XML configuration file. You see the detailed instruction in commands here and uncomment this um, two lines uh, delete the last one and keep only the user name admin you can see the manager does who must be the role of the this user and change the password name that okay close the editor to save the change okay open again to verify okay now uh, let me start the server oh. oh sorry i need to go to the bin directory okay top card started and refresh okay click manager app and enter the username admin password name that you see, now I can access the Tomcat Web Application Manager. This uh, application manager allows us uh, to uh, deploy Java web applications onto a bunch of Tomcat server. You can select a world file, upload and deploy. And I can see the server status here, you see. So far you have seen how to download, install, configure and run Apache Tomcat 10 on Mac OS. Now let me sum up the key points you need to remember. You should use Tomcat 10 for running Java applications built with Java 11 or later and sublit uh, version 6.0 or older. And you must verify the integrity of the downloaded file with SHA 512 checksum and other user with the manager GUI role in the Tomcat user's XML file to access the Tomcat Web Application Manager and uh, add the execute permission of shell scripts to file owner using this 
uh, command ch mod u plus x to give uh, execute permission uh, to the file owner and uh, here are some uh, commands which you can use to start uh, the server and the command to stop the server I hope you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching